Well, I thought I'd get into the hot seat. I was wrong. So we did that race at Pocono, and uh, that's it. Season three finished. I won another dirt championship, so I won all but two races. Uh, I earned a lot of money, so that's that's cool. Whatever. Um, yeah, I want to go NAS trucking, man. Yeah, we're we're going NAS trucking, uh, Warren. Oh man. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're we're skipping the extreme dirt tour. We I'm I'm done. Oh, I can't skip. I can't just say fuck it and retire. Okay. So we'll participate in the truck series. We're going to uh, skip the Extreme Dirt Tour. Sweet. All right. And we're going to start our own team, obviously. We should be able to do that, am I right? Yes. All right. We need to register a name and a logo, which will cost $2,000. Absolutely. Go ahead. Oh, wow. I get to choose my team names again? <laughs> Goldmine Racing Team. Most Mostly Starcom Racing in association with Goldmine. Made a few calls. Uh, found some companies willing to sponsor you. Oh, all right. Ooh. Ooh. Earthwater. I think I gotta go with Fitzgerald. Well. Oh hell yeah. I mean they they have the best contract, but they have like the coolest cars, man. When Pablo Montoya back in the Indy 500 what was a what year was that? 2016, I think. The Fitzgerald Glider Kits car. Holy shit. Those those Fitzgerald cars are always sexy. Those black and green cars, man. I gotta go with that. All right, next we need to buy a car. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, Warren. Four to thousand dollars. So the good thing is, oh hell yeah. Okay, yeah. The good thing is we we racked up five hundred and seventy thousand dollars. So we'll start off with a speedway chassis, and then uh, yeah, we'll hire some, we'll hire some people, I guess. Jeez, could they not clean up Cameron Denton for the photo? He's just got, like, shit all over his face. <laughs> what the hell, Cameron? Everybody else is looking all right. Jeez. I mean, I don't really think there's a good way to go about this. I mean, we could sign Max for only 120 bucks, or we could sign Brendan over here for 11000 But either way, we have to train him up to 15000 so I don't think we get a, really a discount either way. But I'm going to sign Jake. He seems like a winner. We'll go with him, and then we'll we'll develop him. Absolutely. All right. Look over your. Oh yeah, that's right. We get to um, to to mess with this. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So apparently you can't change the manufacturer, which is pretty stupid. They're tied with the sponsors. Kind of forgot about that, but uh, yeah. I don't know why Fitzgerald's tied with Toyota. I know they're they're with Penske, and they drive Fords. But uh, whatever. So we're gonna stick with the '99. And I guess we'll go back to the, uh, try to replicate the Starcom scheme. Oh, that's the rim style. Can I not, can I not change the paint scheme? What? Well, that's, uh, that's kind of horseshit. I can't change the paint scheme. I might say to hell with it and actually just, like, go with the color scheme here. Yeah, switch this around to green. Ugh. Okay, well, there's that. That is about as basic as it gets. I don't understand. I don't understand a lot of things going on here. I don't understand why we can't change the manufacturer. I got. I don't understand why that's not an option. I don't understand why there's no option to choose a different paint scheme. I don't know if that's an option somewhere else, but it just gave me like the most basic paint scheme I think I've ever seen. So uh, yeah, it's a little disappointing, but I guess we'll save that and uh... okay. All right. Well, <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. Oh, we need to buy a super speedway truck. Okay, can let's let's just get the fuck out of this Warren. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Just let me. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so first off, we're gonna purchase a super speedway chat. Oh my hot damn. Okay, it's 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 expensive. There we go. We got our super speedway truck. What else do we need? We need a short track truck. Super speedway, speedway, speedway. Yeah, we need a short track truck. All right, we got the short track truck. Now let's hire some more people. So we need at least like six guys. Let's see here. Max, let's let's hire three people first. We'll go Melissa. There we go. All-star crew right here. Now we're going to train each of you. We're going to Oh man, it is, oh, it's going to be expensive. 15 engine. Oh man. F 15 aero. Okay. Yes. <laughs> And we're not going to have enough money for suspension, are we? 
Oh, barely. Okay. Now, the problem with that is that we can only upgrade it so far. Now, how much is it going to be to improve our equipment? Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Well, we're going to be pretty shitty to start off here, but we're going to start off with... Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll max this up to 85 for the engine. So, at least we can have engine power going off into Daytona. Barely. All right, yeah, for the super speedway, we're going to get you on here, Jake. Okay. Now, where do we go next? Speedway, right? Atlanta. So, what's the max here? 75? At least we can get five extra, I guess. Right? Yes. For next week. I mean, we're not even going to worry about it for Daytona because it's not really going to matter. But uh, that way, hopefully, we can adjust the max. I don't know what our earnings are going to look like, but... Yeah, hopefully that'll, uh, oh boy, this, okay, yeah, we're starting off pretty slow, I like that though, that's good, that's good, so we're gonna start this work plan here, okie dokie, let me make sure I got this right, you'll be racing in Camping World Truck Series while skipping Extreme Dirt Tour, I hope so, I just bought three chassis and hired three people and, and trained them out the ass, yeah, you got it. Welcome to the Camping World Truck Series. Thanks. I'm Ben Kennedy. I'm from Daytona Beach, Florida, oh, no. and I'm the GM of the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Oh, oh no. In the Truck Series, you'll be racing some of the best competitors at some of the biggest racetracks. Oh, yeah. So what makes the Truck Series special is you go to all sorts of different tracks that the Cup guys race on. You get a variety of tracks while also keeping the personality of the Truck Series and its rough and tumble nature. Mm-hmm. The biggest thing I learned was my competitors and how to race them at the end of the day. Be aggressive those first two to three laps, but also maintain right. your equipment so you can make it through all the stages. He won a race, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's that. Let's go <laughs> Didn't have a lot of highlights there. Those are all from the same race, but it's okay. At least you did win one race. Oh, boy. Look at that picture. All right, Ben. Congratulations on making it to the truck series. You did great out there on dirt. In the truck series, you're going to see a different type of racing. Uh, it's going to be a little more competitive, and you're going to go to different tracks and venues along the way. But don't mm -hmm. worry, I'll be there to help you out. Oh, thanks. That was a little bit more loose. He seemed he seemed pretty loose. He seemed pretty cool. You know the drill: drive fast, but don't forget to have fun out there. Wow, thanks, Warren. Wow, what if, what would I do without you? All right. Well, here we go. Uh, well, we have no money at this point since we spent it all on stuff, but, uh, I feel like, you know, we're, I mean, I don't know if I could have done that any better. I'm sure there'll probably be somebody yells at me that shouldn't have, shouldn't have bought so many chassis or whatever, but I had to buy them eventually, so at least we got that far, and we're gonna have engine power for Daytona, and we should have a little bit of something for Atlanta. Uh, the biggest thing is how much money we're gonna earn throughout the races, so, uh, the career mode settings, I turned it up to 50% since the truck races are so damn short. So I feel like that'll work out well. Uh, three race stages, uh, four times wear and everything else. So, uh, yeah. And I think that's, I mean, that's really about it. Uh, oh, here's some big time sponsors, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess I can't sign with any of these like mid-season and just get more money. This is like an end of season kind of thing. So, but yeah, we've got Fitzgerald right now. So, yeah, I don't think I can change. No, I can't. So, yeah, that's really about it. So I guess we'll hop into it. And we'll see what we can do. Right, let's go. <sighs> Here we go. This is our first big, big start in the NASCARs. Uh, we're going NAS. We're going full-time NAS trucking, and it all begins here at Daytona. So, uh, as you can imagine, we don't have a lot of speed. We've got like that lawnmower engine that we took from the the Extreme Dirt Tour. We modified it a little bit to to get it up to Truck Series lawnmower standards. We put it in this thing, <laughs> so it's not great. I'll tell you that. We got some pretty bad equipment as well, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do our best here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is our only our first start. We spent like pretty much half a million dollars already. Uh, that wasn't pretty. Half a million dollars already on uh, getting the truck series team kind of set up and getting some people trained. But the good thing is we're really close. All we got to do is improve our equipment. And then we could start hammering out probably about 85, 85, 85 each week. So uh, that's pretty middle of the road. Then we can go from there. So 
Um, yeah, once again, it all kind of comes down. Now, if we don't get a lot of prize money, that might be a problem. And I probably, you know, could have balanced it out a little bit better. But, um, yeah, I kind of... I went pretty aggressive. I bought three chances, and then I trained people all the way up to 15 already. So um, the problem with that is, like, you can't improve your equipment. Man, I saw a... Uh, I, I can't remember who it was, but on Reddit, basically suggested um, all the stuff they do in NASCAR Thunder 2004. One of the reasons why it makes that game so great and so challenging is that it takes forever to do things. In this game, it's, uh, dare I say, half-assed, but it's, like, it's very, like, like, there's not a lot of detail to it. There's not a lot of... It's not a lot to it, right? So you improve your equipment, it's just like an instant upgrade. In NASCAR Thunder 2004, if you don't, if you have like little money like I always did, it would take you probably like nine weeks to upgrade something, like nine race weekends. And that's pretty much most, like half of the season already right there for the truck series season. So that's why it always took so long. And, and a lot of those, that's, you know, just for like shop editions and stuff like that. Um, you know, and it took, just takes forever to to get your team to a point where they're pretty solid all the way around and the upgrading isn't really the same and this you just kind of uh train them which is kind of cool but it, once again it's like an instant upgrade like it like if you have the money you can upgrade them as far as you want as far as it'll let you go and then it's an instant you know upgrade so i don't know man it's um i definitely would have liked to see them go a little bit more deep with that kind of stuff and i feel like that stuff they can add into the crew mode but i would imagine well, honestly, no, probably not. Because I mean, if you already started your career mode, I don't, I don't think that would make much sense to kind of go off in there and change it. But yeah, thirty second. How many seconds? Are, uh, well, I'm four tenths off Clay Greenfield. Uh, I might not be last, but there's a good chance I put put around here in last. Oh man, here we go. This is a big break. Full time NAS trucking. Harrison Bo Burton posted some fast. What does that even? What does that even matter? Failed tech inspection. Rip. Fail optical scanning. Sweet. So I'm not going to be starting last, right? Nice. Well, that's good. At least we have that. Uh, NASCAR Heat 2, I always like started last on the plate tracks. Now there's a chance. What the hell? Okay. The order's kind of wonky there. That dude's like behind me slid up to my bumper. Oh, the hell are you, Corn Cow? You ever coming right through? Man, it, oh, man. We're going to get such a good start. And then and we're just going to like hit fourth gear here. And then we hit the corner, and then it all goes downhill from here. Oh, are you actually going to, like, push me? No, I didn't think you would. Sort of kind of helped, but... Yeah, so I, uh... uh I don't know. I, f I feel like we've got a little bit of speed in it. I put I made this truck as low as I possibly could without it scraping too bad. It still like scrapes right there. It was kind of funny. I was scraping more in practice. And, like when you bottom out and you scrape a track a little bit, it kind of sounds like like somebody's throwing something at my truck. It sounds kind of funny, but okay, that's about what I expected. Me and Corn Cop. But you know what frustrates me? I was thinking about this in practice. In NASCAR Thunder 2004, when you're slow, you have other people who are just as slow. Or, you know, maybe a little bit faster, but they fall off the pack, too. We're a three-star team. Corn Cobb's a three-star team. And some of these other scrubs are three-star teams. But they just don't have the same, like, effect. They don't have... They're just not as slow. And that's just horseshit, man. You play NASCAR at Thunder 2004, and the slow guys fall off the pack. And you you can eventually catch up to them after a while. But they'll they'll fall back like they should because they're, they're on similar stuff. That's, like, once again, I just feel like... Man, the AI man, they get them special rules. Some of these, some of these trucks really don't deserve to be three-star teams either. Corn Cobb, this is the race where she just like wrecked herself trying to miss a wreck, strode it straight in the inside wall and killed it. That was, that's still probably one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Maybe she'll do it again this race, and then I'll be guaranteed not to finish last. Man, this sucks. 85 engine power. You'd think I'd have a little bit more oomph. I'm only 15 away from the max, but I mean. Whatever. I'd hate to see what it would have been if I was, like, flat 70. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine how slow I'd be if I'm this slow and this far off already? I'm probably going to go lap down before the end of the stage. I'm just going to let Corn Cop go because she's, she's not helping anything. And she's obviously way quicker than I am. Excuse me. 
Go ahead, go get him, corn cob. All right. Oh shit, are they wrecking? Did they actually wreck? What? They actually wrecked. <laughs> hey, all right. Jordan Anderson is in the lead. Wow, Dwindle wrecked. Cool. I'm staying out. Timothy Peters and Cody Coughlin get into it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that yeah, that's what it was. That's what the caution was for. Can we see what actually caused that? Yeah, I'm not surprised the replay system's kind of broke. So that obviously is not well. I, I, okay, so it looks like Gregson got turned around. He just like ping ponged off everything there for a while, and that was that. You can't really see exactly what caused it, but there's most of it. Wow, four whole spots gained. Sweet. No Gregson pit. Uh, Wendell didn't pit. Wendell doesn't need no pits. He's telling it. No, he just killed it. Nah, he's good. It's all good. <laughs> Talking about AI getting to play on special rules, he just killed it right in the nose. But nah, it's okay. That's all right. He could go. Oh, man. I, that's like simple little stuff like that, man. Cody Coughlin. It looks like he's pretty hurt. Whatever. Like, I mean, like, it's... I mean, honestly, if we're going to go very realistic, we're going to go to those real-life rules... He'd be on the crash clock, am I right? That's the thing in the truck series. I'd know, but they only race like once a month, so I don't know. But anyways, you'd, you'd imagine. I don't know. Jeez. Ja <laughs> Jamie Mosley. Still trying to figure out who that is. Damn near. Whoa, man. He's okay. He just weeble wobbled his ass right to the. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be a long season. I tell you that, man. This is going to be a long, long season. Well, at least I'm actually kind of catch up now. I'm not, or I'm not like falling off. I don't know why that is. Why we fall off so bad in the first place, but this is kind of cool. But it's not like I can do anything with it. The pack racing still kind of sucks in NASCAR heat. And I've gone on this rant so many times, it is un it's just like, it's just not funny. How many times I've talked about how bad it is. Once again. But this is how the racing is for all, all the series. It's like... They, they're only programmed to go in like their, their two lanes, really, and you can see the AI. They just try their hardest to get back down to the bottom of the track. They don't race. They just, they're like programmed to ride in their two lanes. So when they're, when they're programmed to do that, you don't, you, like, you don't get any racing out of it. You don't see any lines make any progress. You don't see any guys trying out the third line, trying to, trying to make progress. So when you don't have any of that, you can't have somebody like me who is really slow, but I, I you know, I can't, I can't, I don't have the option to really work the draft like somebody slow would be able to, to like be able to ride in the right line and get to the front of the field or work with the right guy or something like that. You know what I mean? Like it happens almost every play race, whether it's trucks, Xfinity, or Cup. There's just always so much racing going on and the, the lanes just move so much and the momentum just comes here and there. There's just like no momentum in this. The lanes don't go anywhere. There's no runs. There's no anything. So you can't work off of that. So you're unless you're really you know unless you have a lot of speed you're just not really going to go anywhere and that's exactly what's going on here hopefully that makes sense but I, I don't know how you fix that but i just want to see more racing man i want to see more runs i want to see the lanes actually move and some of the guys actually try to go around the high side and, and actually bump draft that, that that happens sometimes too that doesn't happen in this game so uh we're gonna go ahead and pit Hey, yeah, I mean, there's, there's not really much we can do. I mean, I'm already bottoming out a little bit. But, I mean, that's the only thing we can do is make it a little bit lower to the ground. I mean, it's tough. Okie dokie. I, I'm going to pay attention to my to my uh, attempts. I might be able to put some more tape on it. Uh, since this is a plate track, I might be able to get some more air. And I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay on this bottom line this time. To be fair, I've only got Corn Cobb behind me, so hopefully Corn Cobb will stay back there and give me a little bit of help some way, somehow. Yeah, right there. It's like between third and fourth, and then we hit the corner. That's just rough. But if we can stay up here, there you go. So we got Corn Cobb back there. Give us a little bit of drafting help. This is inside lines. The lines just aren't really going anywhere whatsoever. There we go. We come out at two and. Uh, uh, 
Oh, it's tough. <laughs> Man, this thing is a turd, I tell you that. Come on, we gotta suck up before we hit turn three. Feel free to check up or do something. Oh, we might play. There we go. They're starting to check back up. Hey, hey, all right. Yeah, outside line checked up pretty good. Both lines checked out. Uh, maybe I got to run. I don't know. One of the two. Yeah, we, uh, okay. Well, we might be good for now. Oops, excuse me. Man, things, the thing's really low to the ground, so it gets kind of tight. And it's, uh, so yeah, as, as, as the run goes on, it might be kind of, kind of hard to hold my line. And I might be sliding up into people. The problem with it is we're so slow that if we do something like that, it's so easy to just to lose momentum. It feels like I'm losing momentum because I'm bottoming out a little bit. But, uh, well, that's probably the end of that. I'm probably going to lose the pack right here. It was fun. Oh, man. Oh, hey, somebody's blowing up. We're not going to finish last. And we have a caution. Did we get a caution for him blowing up? That's actually kind of cool. I didn't think we'd get those. I can't think any other reason why we'd get it. Nobody else wrecked. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, I really appreciate that. We've had a lot of other people blow up, too, and we haven't got cautions, so I don't know. Anyways, I'll take it. Once again, a lot of guys pitting. I'm going to stay out since we can make it to the end of the stage. Oh, boy. Six spots gained this time. Oh, man. Look at that thing. Oh, like a boat. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hopefully, this time we got enough people behind that I won't fall off the back of the pack. Hopefully. Look at this. Restart. Yeah. Look at some of these scrubs up here. Clay Greenfield. Wendell's shaking us. Well, to be fair, Wendell isn't a four-star truck team, so, yeah. Hmm. I don't know who else some of these other scrubs. I know Jordan Anderson was leading. I, I've seen a picture of his hauler. He doesn't even really have a hauler, am I right? He just has kind of like a trailer kind of thing. Yeah, get out of here with that. And here goes the rest of the response as we hit the straightaway. Feels bad. Once again, if I, if I could figure out a way to just transfer some of that restart speed to some like straight line speed, that would be cool. Hey, there's big time Noah Gregson going to the one car. Confirmed in 2019. Oh boy. He can't be any worse than Elliott Sadler, am I right? Look at these guys three wide behind me. That's a little adventurous, don't you think, guys? Don't you think? Somebody's gonna back out of something. Looks like Sergeant's just gonna pulled around the high side. Huh. Must be nice, huh? Yeah, must be really nice. No draft help or anything. Just right around the high side all by himself. Yeah, must be nice. Oh, boy. Yeah, that didn't pong me quite as bad, but it, it definitely wanted to do something. I wanted to slide up and have him back out or something to stall this momentum, but well, at least we're not going to finish stage two last. So that's cool. Uh, we still got a good ways to go. Once again, I put it on 50%. It's because the truck race is just so short. So, I think that's a, usually a pretty good distance. Then we go 25 for the rest of everything. Yeah, go on, get some corn cob. Yep. Oh, man. I just feel so disrespected that I just get blown by by Jennifer Joe Corn Cobb on the straightaway. <laughs> I just feel so disrespected. Well, I'm going to pit. Justin Haley's up there in the lead. Huh. Josh Reme, Justin Fontaine, Parker Kligerman, Travis Quapple, Joe Nemechek, Austin Hill, Robbie in the top 10. Boy. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I went ahead and put 5% more tape on it. That might not be a good idea because I forgot to pay attention to my temps. But, I mean, it can't be any worse, right? Like, if we start going, if we start having temp issues, and then the hell with it. Then we'll figure it out. I mean, it's not like... Not like we're uh, we're gonna do very good here, anyways. But uh, I mean, it might help. I always felt like you could probably get away with running more tape at the plate tracks. So that's what that's what we're gonna bank on. We're gonna see. I think that might be the issue because it just went up to like 195 there, and then it went right back down. Yeah, I think that's how we're gonna find more speed. Oh man, we were really checking up, and I don't have anywhere to go. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to find more speeds, put more tape on it. I could probably put it up to 50. Oh, hell yeah. Well, well, that's good. I'm glad we did that. I wasn't sure there for a minute, but yeah, already it feels more sporty with some tape on it. So 
Uh, yeah, it's 196. I could probably probably get get away with a little bit more tape. Obviously, that tape ain't gonna just give us winning speed, but we're not totally getting. Okay, we're not last. Hey, did you hear that? <laughs> Sounds like you're like sitting in a car and like people throwing like snowballs at you. <laughs> what is that? Man, remember the good old times like in NASCAR E2 when I pushed you to win corn cob? Good times, good times. Hopefully we'll get back there sometime, but uh, for now, yeah, that tape didn't do shit because we still fall off. That's another thing, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> like we obviously kept up for like a lap and then we uh, we just like stopped keeping up. Are we, is there like an engine power leak? We just leak as the run goes on, something leaks. I don't even make any sense, but some something's just like, is it the tire wear? I know, I know NASCAR heat, man. There's sorry excuse for tire wear on plate tracks. That's just like, that's probably the most half-assed thing I think I've ever seen replicated in a game. Let me go, let me go on my tire wear at a plate track in NASCAR heat rant. Their way of making it, of making tire wear a thing, is that when your tires wear after a while, you just get slower. You don't get tighter, you don't get looser, you get slower. You lose engine power after a while. That makes no sense whatsoever. And it is just stupid. And I feel like it's probably a thing this year. But, you know, what can you do? I feel like I got slower putting tape on. I felt faster there for a lap, and now I feel slower. How does that make any sense? So should I take all my tape off so I'm really fucking slow on the restart, but then I'm like super fast on the long run? Is that is that what we should do? I don't know. I swear to God, I got slower. Look how far I, I can't see the I can't see the field anymore, and I'm still last. Who the fuck blew up and is still out there? Again? What what track was that? Somebody blew up, and then they kept on going. What? This is horse shit, man. I, I only wanted one free spot. And the caution came out. If the caution comes out while they're blowing up and still on track, I guess it just erases it and then just are automatically okay again. Oh, man. So many issues, man. So many just little things, man. Little things that just kill it. <sighs> man. No, I don't even know what we do for strategy. I guess we just bid when we need to. You know... <laughs> This game has a lot of issues. And honestly, what game doesn't have a lot of issues? But uh, all I'm going to say is, man, it's way more fun running, running fucking dead shit last in NASCAR Thunder 2004 than it is in this game. Now, let me tell you that. At least in NASCAR Thunder 2004, we probably would have had about two or three engine failures by now. And we would have had at least probably like, I mean, to be fair, the pack racing was a lot different. But, I mean, realistically, there probably would have been a good couple of people who fell off the pack at this point. Probably could have linked up with one or two. I mean, just me and me and Corn Cobb, we would have been able, like, realistically, in NASCAR Thunder 2004, and in real life, we would have been able to kind of link up and go faster with the draft. That's how it works. Two cars are faster than one. That's not how it works in this game. Because, for one, they don't push you. For two, the, the, there's just not really any momentum. There's not enough, like, just drafting, you know? But that's okay. We're uh, we're gonna be pitting here. We're probably gonna run out of fuel in the middle of three and four. I stretched it another lap. I don't know why, but you know why the hell not? You never know. It might matter. It <laughs> it might not. We'll see. But we're gonna be going a lap down here soon, anyways. So good thing is we're the only one close to going a lap down since everybody's fast enough to keep up with the pack. So uh, we're not gonna have to worry about it there. Well, we're not gonna have to worry about running out of fuel either. Cool. Oh man, look at that thing. Man, weak saucing it off in here. There we go. Okay. Whew. Um, I mean, I guess I'll take right sides. I'm gonna be automatically slower. Nah, to hell with it. I'm not gonna take any tires. Realistically, I should be able to. I shouldn't have to take tires. Once again, I have it on four times wear, but that's just not how it works. You don't just lose speed as your tires wear. That's just not how it works. God, where are my contingency sponsors? What the hell? Oh man, I just, like so. The only thing I have on the car period is Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald gliders. <laughs> oh man, 
Yeah, I came out 32nd. Yeah, it took me 12 seconds to fill that thing all the way up. Should have just put tires on it. My front, my 62% on the right, on the left front. Once again, I haven't got really, I haven't really got tight, and I haven't really got loose, but I have lost speed. I think. Well, the fuel run is uh, it's 10 laps. We've got 16 to go. <laughs> Um, so, I guess we'll probably pit with six to go, and then we'll just, like, fill it up a little over half a tank, and then no tires, and then go. Oh, hey, look, I'm finally going to go lap down. Cool. All right, well. Uh, <laughs> oh, poor guys didn't have, didn't have the intelligence to get around me. Oh, let's see. Oh, man, look at this dude. Stuart freezing. Unassisted, no draft or anything. He's gonna pull around everybody and take the lead. What a cool ass. I'll block for you, Freezing. <laughs> I got you, man. It's okay. When I'm fast one day, I'm gonna expect you to block everybody for me, too. I mean, all they had to do, they're just like way quicker than I am. All I gotta do is just pull right around me. Yeah, Tanner Thorson, go get him, buddy. He failed inspection or some shit and started for the back. And he's gonna go all the way up to second. Once again, unassisted. <laughs> oh, and we have a caution. Well, I'm gonna get my uh, get my lap back. 36 on the left front. I probably would have blown my damn tire. Man, well, I got a pit. But uh, yeah, cool. Okay, we'll get back on the lead lap, and we'll try to not finish last. I guess I'm gonna put a little bit more tape on it. Alrighty, and so oh yeah, somebody's blowing up. Let's get it. Oh, he's on the bottom line too. Is that Jordan Anderson again? Oh, let's go. Free spots? Free spots, free, free spots, free spots, free spots. Yeah! Thank you! Alright, five to go, and now all we gotta do is block. Sweet! Okay. Well, that's all we need, I guess. I mean, if that could just happen every week, somebody stay out and just kill the whole field, yeah, that's cool. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know who I have to thank, but I really appreciate it. We still have a long ways to go, and I'm still way off the pace, so I'm really going to have to block to not finish last year still. Because I'm not going to be able to cling on to this pack, and Ben Rhodes is back there, and he's OP, of course, so he's just going to pull his way back up here just by himself. Going to bring Jamie Mosley with him, too, whoever the fuck that is. Never mind, Jamie Mosley and Justin Fontaine passed Ben Rhodes, and now they're just pulling right back up here. Yup. Yup. No problem. No problem. All right, now they're just going to have to uh, block a little bit, I guess, for the next couple of laps, and here comes Ben Rhodes all by himself. Yep. Car there is on your inside. Yeah, fuck you. Car your here. I'm still going to finish last, because everybody's just going to catch back up. Because they're just so much quicker. Oh, this is great. This is really great. Oh, man. We can just hold on for a couple more laps, man. Oh, this is a white flag. I'd take a 23rd. I don't know. We still, I mean, at least we're not going to finish totally last because somebody blew up for sure. Um, and, and he took a lot of people with him, so. I don't know. We've only fallen back to 24th. So that's not too bad. This is frustrating getting passed by people we just really shouldn't get passed by. Two to go. Falling back to 25th. Corbin Forrester's two and a half seconds back. He'll be there by the time we finish. Just gonna pull Justin Fontaine behind me because he doesn't like he doesn't want to pass me, I guess. Maybe he feels bad for me. See realistically, I mean we should go be going a good bit faster, but it's, it's just it's like I'm running around here by myself. Still putt putting at 170 some miles an hour. It's just like no draft effect. <laughs> I mean, he obviously won't push me. So that's part of the problem. All right, well, coming around on the white flag. At least we know the race should end, unless that glitch is still in there. So it looks like, yeah, we're uh, not going to finish second to last either. We're, we're going to come away with a pretty solid finish. Corbin Forrester's catching us, and he's probably bringing people with him. I can't really tell. It looks like there's more than one person back there, so we're just gonna make this thing wide. Every spot matters. Oh no, I think it's just him. He's just pulling up here, but just by himself. I remember when I was in that truck, and I remember when I was that quick. No, never mind. I wasn't that quick. 
Yep. Nope. Oh, man. See, I can't block both lanes. Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> Sweet. All right. There you go. I'll just ride right in the middle of both lanes. Hey, all right, P25. That was really, that was a lot of things. It was very upsetting, very disappointing. But all in all, not bad. 97 speed rating, it could have been a lot worse. We're just very, very lucky that we didn't finish 32nd. We ran there most of the race, but we didn't finish there, so. That's great. Oh, wow. So, oh, well, that, ugh. What, that, hopefully I already showed you a replay of that. Good God. Well, look at the finishing results. He won. Tanner Thorson. John Arnimachank, Dalton Sargent. Yeah. <laughs> Wendell Shavis finished 15th and beat me. And he wrecked tonight. Wrecked pretty bad. That's cool. Oh, my hot damn. 89,000 for finishing, what, 25th? 26th? Cool. 11 bucks of merch. All right. Nice. Congrats on your first truck race. You got to be more careful on the track. You totally ran into me. Here we go, Clay. Here we go, Clay. Fuck you, Clay. It's Daytona, man. You ever heard of bump drafting? Maybe you should try it. Maybe you'd go quicker. All right? That's probably what I did. That's probably why you're upset. And it's stupid that you're upset. Where are we going next? We're going to Atlanta. Yeah, let's let's prepare for the race here. I'm going to hop in the facilities. Now that we've got money, or money again, we got a lot of money. I was surprised. Yeah, improved equipment. So, oh, hell yeah. We definitely want to open up the max 85 all the way around. Now that we've got that done, how much is it to improve the engine to, okay, 45, we don't got that. Okay, yeah, let's adjust the work plan. Let's see what we got here. So we're going to Atlanta. We're gonna need this, the Speedway chassis. So we, we should be good to go 85 all the way around for, for Atlanta. And then we go to Vegas. Oh, well, shit balls. Okay, well, that kind of hurts. Back-to-back -back Speedway races, ugh. And then we have another back-to-back Speedway speedway races there, Stover and Kansas. All right, well, let's start the work plan. There we go. So our Atlanta truck is all at 85. I want to hire somebody else. Holly, Chris, Matt, Jordan, and Ellie. All right, Matt, you've you've got you've got it. Eight engine. We <laughs> we need engine power. We're gonna train you as much as we can. Eleven. We'll put it in even 10. There you go. And we're going to put you on the short track truck. Since we can't, we don't have enough money for another chassis. We're just going to, we're going to get you ready for Martinsville. We'll say the hell of it with Vegas. I mean, honestly, we can get, yeah, we'll be just fine for Vegas. I mean, we'll, we'll just be at 85, 85, 85 again. We'll use the same people. And hopefully by that time, we'll have enough money and I can fully upgrade Matt. Where were we just signed? That's his name, right? I can't remember. We'll fully upgrade him, and then we can, you know, get that going. And then we still got to improve the uh, improve the the equipment. So we'll slowly improve that. Yeah, I was surprised at how much money you earn in the truck series. I feel like that's that's a, that's a bit too much. It should definitely kind of it would make more sense for it to be more performance based. But it seems like finishing 25th, you get a, a pretty big paycheck. So once again, I think this is uh, since the season's a lot longer as well. I think this is going to turn into uh, kind of what we had in the dirt series. It's not going to take very long to get OP, and once you get there, there's no there's no turn, there's no turning back. So, anyways, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The first our our, our, NAS, our full time NAS truck debut at Daytona. It didn't go great, but it didn't go too bad either. We made some good money, and uh, the team is progressing very very quickly. So we go on to Atlanta next video. Hope you guys will come back. But that'll do it for me. Appreciate y'all as always for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.